It's been a busy month. I've been traveling quite a bit, including a trip to Orlando, and whenever I'm on the road, I'm always on the lookout for what bikes I can spot, and in and around Orlando, lots of big box bikes, and lots of people on bikes in general. I also seek out the nearest Walmart store, partly due to economic necessity, but also, I'm always curious about their bike selection. And that selection's gonna vary from store to store, area to area, and in this store's case, they move a lot of bikes. I mean, look at this, this is the same rack three days apart. That's an impressive amount of sales. And because this store is in a Florida tourist area, lots of cruiser bikes, and lots of bikes with baskets and bags, like this one. I've never seen this model before, it's a women's cruiser bike from Huffy called the Marietta. According to the price tag, the Marietta is $168, so a few more dollars than a standard Cranbrook, but the Marietta comes with lots of add-ons, like rear pannier bags, a front basket, a rear rack, and dual density grips, which apparently is a fancy way of saying foam lock-on grips. Being a cruiser, this has standard sweeping handlebars, and one of the included accessories is a removable chrome beverage holder. And that matches the chrome quill stem. The smartphone holder, that's black plastic, also removable, and it opens wide enough to accept my iPhone 11 and phones much larger. And though there are lots of bar accessories, it doesn't look cluttered. Even the basket mount sort of disappears. It's metal, and the basket sits into a channel on that mount so it can be easily removed. And the basket itself is canvas with a metal frame and a pattern liner. More on that in a moment. And it has integrated carry handles and a Huffy logo. Both wheels are wrapped with metal finish matching fenders. And the fork, standard cruiser style, rigid steel. Also standard for cruisers, 26 inch wheel street tires and single wall rims. Single applies to the drivetrain as well. It's single speed with a coaster brake. And remember it said dual density for the grips and the pedals. Well, the pedals are flat plastic. And the classic style chrome crank arms mounted to a chrome single chain ring. There's a snowflake looking logo on the steel chain guard along with Huffy embossing. And that snowflake design, it's all over the bike including the liner of the basket we saw earlier and I think it's a twist on the navigation star. And all the graphics are a metallic looking dark rose color which mates well with the trendy rose gold finish on the frame. And this steel frame is what Huffy calls a perfect fit frame. And it has a quick release seat clamp, a chrome seat post, and a saddle with the snowflake navigation star logo. The thing that caught my eye about this bike is the pannier bags, and these are canvas with double clip straps, and we see in the liner that this graphic is in fact a navigation star. And they also have a canvas integrated carry handle. They mount to the rear rack via elastic bands on the underside. I couldn't find a stated weight or a capacity for the panniers, but the rear rack is rated at a max load of 22 pounds. The final chrome part on the Marietta is a center mounted kickstand with the usual bottom bracket. And in the past I've jokingly referred to some welds as looking like caulk and in the case of this bike I think you'll be able to tell what I'm talking about. So the quote perfect fit frame, trendy rose gold and lots of accessories including pannier bags and at about the same price as a regular Walmart cruiser. I could see where this would be enticing, especially in an area like Orlando where it's good and flat. There's a quick look at the Huffy Marietta Cruiser. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this bike and the added accessories. Do they make it worth a few extra dollars over, say, a Cranbrook? And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and have that notification bell active. And if you like this video, maybe even give it a thumbs up. And keep a lookout this coming week. Because I've been asking bike manufacturers about any holiday shopping deals they're planning, I'm going to share what I've found. Thanks to everyone for watching and have a great day.